We don't have to wait for a child to have a mental health diagnosis. We don't have to wait for somebody to be so bullied and so angry and so socially isolated that they feel like the only thing that they can do is act out through shooting other people. I mean, these are really big issues within our country. And so we're hoping to bring a voice to some of that within our community and beyond. You can intervene early. You can prevent lifelong mental and behavioral health challenges. I think it's so important for these programs to exist in schools, especially co-located, because the teacher's responsibility is to teach and to educate. And so teachers and administrators can't be focused on the children who are really struggling and the children who are dysregulated. So when you bring a therapist in and have them co-located on site, you have a space, a safe space for that child to be able to go and process whatever's going on. So within the Childhood Trauma Response Program, we use evidence-based trauma therapies, including child-centered play therapy, meeting the child where they're at and providing them with a variety of toys so that they can communicate what they've experienced and what's going on. Play therapy is a modality, modality used for kids. Um, it allows them to play, because play is children's language. Sometimes they don't have the words to express their thoughts or their feelings, so them playing with toys is how it comes out. We focus a lot on social skills and communication. Um, there are a lot of big emotions sometimes, so it is also a lot of validating, normalizing, and um, assisting them with the conflict resolution. A lot of these young kids, again, don't have the words to say, you know, I don't like when you do that to me because it makes me frustrated. A lot of the times they'll have a temper tantrum. So in that moment when they have the temper tantrum is when we teach them how they're feeling what they're thinking and how we can solve this instead of throwing ourselves on the floor and screaming, crying. We still validate those feelings, but then through those moments we teach them, you know, the feeling words, how to communicate and how to resolve whatever is that it's bothering them. Ready? And we're gonna go back to our teachers. Okay? Ready? We are seeing an increase in children who are struggling with everything now. We've seen an increase in anxiety, an increase in suicidal ideation, an increase in suicide attempts, an increase in depression, an increase in bullying. Coming out of the pandemic, this work really drives me. I think as a nation, we need to take this approach. We continue to take deep end approaches where we need to have widespread prevention and early intervention efforts. Thank you.